Hey, Don here. Okay, <clears throat> this is my uh, bike splash for my new vanity in the bathroom. And uh, put a second coat of the uh, Seahawk. Gel coat on it. And um, I think it's going to work out okay. The lighting is really bad, isn't it? With the sun shining on it and everything. Last time I, I just got through watching the other video and you couldn't really make it out that good. And the light was more even, it was in the shade. But uh, there's a few little high spots and a speck up in here. Doesn't really help, does it? But I can live with that. Some of the better looking part is down at the bottom that's not actually going to show, and it's a little bit wrinkled looking right in there. But it's, and it's still just a tad sticky. But I got good coverage. So it dried all day yesterday, too, and it's still a bit sticky. This is my sample piece, which I brushed it first, and it made a bunch of brush streaks. Couldn't send them out. That stuff is super hard, just like they tell you. And, um,. Uh, Actually, I tried to sand it with 400, and all it did was make black everywhere that was a high spot, and I couldn't get it out. And I didn't want to go to rougher sandpaper, so I took, uh, and clean your brushes with acetone. I put acetone on there, and it started dissolving it. It, was, it had been drying a week or even two weeks, can't even remember. And, uh, because I had to wait and order this to, to thin it so that I could spray it. The styrene risen thinner, and uh, I, <clears throat> and uh, anyway, that's that that. Uh, I think maybe if it was completely hard, it wouldn't have done it. But it started dissolving, and I had I was using a paper towel in that that little piece, not the big one, and uh, it uh, paper towel dissolved right into it. I couldn't get it out, so I set it aside and let it dry for a couple hours or an hour, whatever. And uh, then I hit it with 220 sandpaper and knocked all as much as the black off I could, and just wanted to make sure there wasn't anything crap in there—no paper towel or anything. I used a dry, I used a sock to finish wiping it, by the way, and uh, just just like that, you know. That's one of them I was using to clean stuff with. Let them dry before I put them in the trash can. I don't want any spontaneous combustion. <laughs> you know, if you throw a rags with chemicals on them in the trash sometimes and when they're wadded up they can actually ignite heat up and ignite so I always let them dry out first so um, then I sprayed it again uh, because I keep working on not that it well I might use it like for a coaster for my drinks or something it only looks like it's big enough for one of my big one cup really my two cups if it was a little wider it would be to take them both but anyway I may put it on my desk and use it for a coaster if it dries hard. Uh, I'm hoping that maybe uh, it will come finish drying because I think the reason it wasn't completely hard is I couldn't see my... <coughs> I don't have the syringe out, but the... Uh, where's the best place to put that? Not a good place, is there? I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell, but the, um, uh, over here in the shade, probably be better. A little better. Okay, that's the RIT hardener, and, uh, you put, uh, what I was using was 3.3 cc's, and, uh, for, uh, 8 ounces. I, was using, I found this little measuring Tupperware, it's not a real Tupperware, but it'll hold 4 ounces, I marked 2. And I make my first batch was I think I made two ounces, but anyway, the, in that first time, I couldn't see it, and I was even having to use a magnifying glass, and I still couldn't see it to tell if there was actually anything in my syringe. And when I went to squirt it in there, I didn't see it plop or anything like in the videos when the, I seen people doing it. So uh, I did it again, and so I think I I think I doubled it. Up. So this time, my first coat, I, I really wasn't sure if I got any in there. But I left it as it is, and it. The next uh, day it was drying, uh, pretty good, except for on the thicker spots. It was still kind of tacky, but that's fine for doing another coat. So went ahead and did another coat the next day, 
and uh, now yesterday it dried all day and all night you know all that first night or second night and then so today it's up in the morning I don't know what it is nine ten o'clock and uh, so it looks like it's going to be drying okay from what I can tell but it is still you know when you drag your finger and you I, I don't know if you can tell but it has sort of a texture look to it sort of like a piece of textured tile but you know what that's fine I do not unless I have unless it's something on here that one spot right there I don't know if you can see it yeah maybe you can it may drive me crazy and I may but if I say anything again it'll be that because I don't want to get into a huge mess to where I have to recoat it for no reason because it's thick and of course the more you coat it the longer it's going to take to dry all the way through I'm pretty sure uh, but anyway this, this last mix I was actually got it was just some sun shining like this and I hooked my magnifying glass off the edge here of my little work table and uh, and was able to finally see it and make sure I got it, the right amount of hardener in there so if I didn't have any, but if the first time if I, uh, on this one, if I hadn't had any hardener on it, then it wouldn't have dried at all. So uh, I must have had had it had it in there. So it should. I'm not sure what you know. I, I'm gonna guess it could take a week to get hard, you know. Uh, even though I make it seems to have it mixed right, but that slight texture, you know, it's. it's I wanted it to look just like the sink. Of course, it's really smooth, but they. They spray this. Uh, this is the same exact chemicals they use, even though it has a it's kind of targeted at boaters, you know, but boats. But it's the same exact type of gel coat. There's several different kind of isopropylene or isopropyl gel coat or something. Does it say that on there? Uh, it says ISO ISO NGP series. So that's ISO is the abbreviation for isopropylene or whatever that word is. I can't remember. Uh, and that's the exact thing that they that's the best one the most long-lasting one that they do you they use different ones on culture marble I found that I did a bunch of reading and research and Watching videos Most of all you could find is how to do fiberglass and boats and stuff But uh, I did see videos on how they make uh, sinks, you know vanity culture marble sinks in, in a factory and So, you know, they spray it in the mold. They spray release agent on the mold. They spray this in the mold and then they pour in the uh, culture marble and once it dries they pull it off and it's perfectly smooth you know because the mold was really smooth but when you're spraying it this is not paint and it does not work like paint and it is the hardest thing i've ever sprayed it's the first time it's the hardest thing i've ever sprayed or worked with in my life so i'm not a painter but i uh, i've done i do a little bit of everything and you know i'm not a real patient sprayer i'll, I'll get runs too often but other than that i can you know i can spray so, uh, but I kept trying to make sure I was covering the edge, and so I got a little thick, a couple of spots there, because the edges were raw. That's where I had sanded, cut it, and sanded it, rounded it off. There was a factory finish on there, but it had turned yellow because it was old. And then up here on the top, there was some factory finish left, but it was kind of yellow. But everywhere I sanded, I really wanted to make sure that it can stand up to the bathroom, you know, because it never dries in the bathroom. You always showering in there sink's always wet I'm always splashing wash my face and everything and that piece was my test piece it's a good thing I did that because I found out you cannot brush it just like they told you you can't brush it unless you they said you'll sand the rest of your life <laughs> basically and I, I wasn't going to sand that much I said I didn't even try to sand it all back down and I thought well it'll, you know it may a lot of it may cover up when I spray it and it did if I did another I don't think you'd ever get enough coats to get rid of that. But you know what? It's not going to be a, in the bathroom. If anything, if it dries hard, I'll, I'll use it for a coaster or something. And it'll look, I'll just say, yeah, that's my design. You like my design? I did that on purpose. <coughs> that's my textured look. Uh, I, I'll give you my, uh, you, you pay me $5 and I'll give you my secret on how to make that textured look. So, uh. There it is, and that's my little, I got run into my truck. I made a little spray booth out of, I uh, showed that last time. I don't think you can see it. I can't tell if I'm showing it, like, it's so bright out here. That I made out of a box, and it worked out pretty good, because I didn't, and I put a, a old care curtain that I'd save for things like this. 
on my brand new. I built it last year, so it's a, it's a not just a workbench, but it's a table saw table, and so you don't want a bunch of crap on it, especially the paint. Then you couldn't slide your wood on it to saw. But I did hit it by accident, and I'll have to sand that. I'm not showing it. Hit it so once or twice there. Not not bad. Tried to be careful, but this is cardboard I have on here to protect it. It's a birch cabinet gray birch plywood. I don't think you can see it. There it is. That's the cardboard wasn't big enough. So you know, and I'm probably gonna finish it. That's what I plan on doing is using the secto vera thing. You see I got a desk in here. I got that off the curb. Neighbors was remodeling and put it on the curb so I brought that thing home. That's an ash desk. I saw the drawers that were broken a couple of days before I saw this, and I thought, what am I going to do with broken drawers? Well, I didn't know they were going to put a desk out for me, so I didn't get them. Of course, I used to be a cabinet maker, so that's one thing I can do. But I got some old computers out here. When you're working on the truck, you can, uh, you know, look up junk. And uh, so anyway, I didn't want any spray, and it actually worked really well with this fan blowing that way. And also, there's no fumes going through the fan, you know. So it's uh, safer. So I protected my work area, and, uh, and luckily it didn't even get over here on the brand new pieces of plywood. It is turned backwards. That's the back side. So, but I got some oak in there too, some red white oak. <clears throat> and you don't want to get that stuff on your wood. That that I did because that's the piece I used for cutting it with. The, I had bought a diamond bit for cutting that. That was some scraps that I laid that little piece on the first time. I laid it down flat when I brushed it. So that's some left over gel coat. <coughs> so, let me see if I can put myself in the shadow over it to where it will show up. Let's see. Go really close. Yeah, I don't think you'll be able to see. Really. Uh, I can almost see the, what it really looks like in the screen, so maybe. But I think it's going to be fine. I think it will look okay once I get it installed. And uh, I'll probably make another... I will, we'll try to remember to make another little video once I get it installed and show what it looks like. I also will have to cut the splash, the left splash that came with the sink it's too long and I'll have to cut it and then I I'll, since that's such a very small area I think I can get by with brushing that because if I try to spray it I'll have to spray the whole thing and it's probably not exactly the same color it's close close as you can I think you're gonna get this is called snow white and I, that sink was about what I'd call snow white it's white as white white as white can be so anyway it's done and bye bye